Hey everybody, hope you're having a good day. So this is Nightcrawler from Marvel United's X-Men version and he's primed in matte gray with an airbrush. And we're gonna be trying out a triad of colors from Army Painter's War Paints. I know this is not new to most of you, but it is new to me because I've just recently got into airbrushing. And we're starting off with a color triad in the blue department because Nightcrawler is blue and I figured this was the best place to start trying out these triads. And then we're starting off with Omega Blue. So what is a triad of paints? Well, let me explain to you. In Army Painters War Paints, it has a huge set. And in a total, I believe it's 34 triads with some metallic paints and some shades and stuff like that. But the triads, what it is, is it gives you a base coat, a mid-tone, and then a highlight. So a high tone. So that's what we're going to be showing you a bit. That's why I slowed it down. I didn't want to do the full fast forward here. I want to show you how well these air paints cover and how precise they can be even not using a brush, right? Because you can do everything with a brush that an airbrush can do, but you can't do everything that a brush can do with an airbrush. Remember that, all right? Because as you can see, it can get messy. You can get spots that you're not wanting to get when you're doing an airbrush. Even if you're a little bit really close, you can get a spot you didn't necessarily want to get. So you got to be careful with that. And again, coming back to this triad, so you will even have a triad of um, and uh, what, of like blacks and whites and grays and greens and purples, and it's amazing. So if you have a chance to get at least a few of them, and if you're airbrushing, take a look at Army Painters Air Paints. Okay, it is a great opportunity to get that highlighting done, highlighting done on your armies as a base coat, and then you can come back in after and do all your highlighting and do all your. Uh, your uh, your colors that you want to do your shading and all that fun stuff i mean so i had a lot of fun with my new airbrush here painting up nightcrawler uh this is a friend of mine who recommended it thank you again honest abe uh for following along on the channel and uh, recommending some miniatures uh you can also recommend miniatures if you want from the games i'm actually currently painting if you see that i'm painting something and you have it and you haven't painted it yet and you'd like to see how I paint it to give you ideas, mention it in the comments below and uh, I will try and get to it in the upcoming videos. So now we're going to move on to Ultramarine Blue. So you might know this color, they have it as a primer and they have it as a war paint as well. Uh, so I am putting this on top, just a little bit on top of the raised edges, like so what's on the top of this miniature and it gives a little lighter coloration. Not much because it's not a huge difference uh, in this triad anyways. I didn't I noticed there was like it looks like on the models a bit, but not very much. So you're just slowly getting the top parts, uh, whatever maybe the light would hit. And then we're gonna finish off this triad with the console blue. And this is going pretty much just like his hair, the top of the muscles on his arms, his legs, his knees, and just the top part a bit of his uh, his tail there. So really just making it look like the light is coming from above and making this miniature really pop on a table. So if you have a chance again, take a look at those air paints. It's amazing. Next we're going to be putting a blue tone on the entirety where we put blue on this guy. This is just going to create our shading effect and get into all the muscles and all that and really make the blue pop. And what's fun is that it kind of merges all the blues together, but it still keeps that uh, triad uh, effect of colors so you're gonna get your darker and to your lighter colors of the blue I'm looking forward to trying this uh, on other miniatures in the future maybe I have some green I can do that with I have the white I only got a few here and there just to test them out I don't have many uh, but if army painter you're watching and you want to send me a few to demo I'm more than welcome to try them out for you um, Mars red is next uh, this is going to be for his suit, uh, so it goes up and down his back and the front here. Uh, he has a, like you can see in the artwork there, he's got a very orangey color. And what gave me the idea, by the way, for the triad, is if you look at the artwork on the side there, I know my hand's covering it up quite a bit, but uh, you'll see a dark and light because the light's coming from the bottom. I didn't want to do the light from the bottom. I have a hard time with that whole OSL thing. I just want to do it from the top and go from darker to lighter on this miniature. And so that kind of was like, hey, maybe I should test this triad thing out and see what it's all about. So and when you're looking at the artwork, and I usually stick to the artwork as much as I can. Um, anyways, I try and it gives me sometimes some motivation to, oh, okay, I want to test something different this time. And I, I've i been trying some new techniques in that. So, you know, it's not your typical Easterling miniature painting today, but still doesn't matter, right? It's still showing you that 
even a person who's not a master painter, who's not even that great at painting in general, I'm definitely not an artist, I just love painting miniatures. And I want you guys to be able to paint your miniatures to a standard that you're comfortable with, and that is the point of this channel. Dark Sky now, or I forgot that this guy had like this collar uh, underneath his neck there and underneath that shirt of his. So I just went over that area there with this dark sky blue. So it's a very, very dark blue. Uh, and it kind of blends into the skin. So it kind of looks kind of neat that way. And it kind of gives it a different look to it as well. So Moon Dust for the eyes now. Just a little dab of this yellowish color. And then we're using some pale skin. I messed up his mouth there. I uh, kind of went a little too much globbiness, uh, but it's still, I cleaned it up and uh, it turns out looking nice. We're also gonna be doing this for his feet and his hands. He's wearing like gloves and I guess little booties. Uh, so somehow in the artwork, you can maybe just see uh, the boots being blue, but I, I was like, that's kind of weird. I don't want to put more blue. Maybe it's even purple. I'm not sure, but I just went with the white just to give it a little bit more contrast between all these colors on the, this miniature and the blue would be a little bit much I think uh, purple wouldn't be so bad um, but the nice contrast between that blue and that Mars red just really makes this miniature pop if you haven't played Marvel United it's a great little game a family game actually very easy for kids to learn very simple tactics you play together it's a cooperative game so it's a lot of fun um, I, uh, I have the base game of the Marvel United, uh, the Marvel United, and I have the base game of X-Men United, and I have a couple expansions, and I have some of the Kickstarter stuff, because, to be honest, I didn't know every single one of those miniatures. Like, the ones that they chose, I didn't know who they were, and I don't even remember them from the original 90s X-Men series cartoon there. I, I knew some of them, but not all of them. I think there are a lot of them are from the comics I didn't know, or from some of the newer... Uh, X-Men series out there. Anyways, next we're moving on to some Wolf Grey. This is actually from Vallejo, uh, or Vallejo, I don't know how you say it, but I think it's Vallejo. And uh, we're putting this on this puff of smoke. Now, in the artwork, again, you're gonna see it looks pink, and they seem to be a lot with this pink thing. Like, Gambit, when he throws his cards, is pink. Uh, Jubilee's glasses were pink. Uh, I think some of the other heroes, when they do their special abilities, is pink. It's kind of interesting, I find it cool, but I didn't want to do pink on this because I think that would have taken away from Nightcrawler himself. It would have put too many eyes on that cloud burst instead. So I decided to go with this uh, Wolf Grey. It's got a very, very, very hint, tiny hint of blue to it. So it kind of like meshes into uh, the blue scheme here. Uh, and it also differentiates itself from the boots, which are uh, white or uh, pale skin is a little off white. It's a white, but it's white. You know, it's not white. It's not considered white. It's pale skin. All right, now we're going to use some Castle Grey on the uh, base of this miniature. So what's cool again, Simon uh, went with textured miniatures. And by the way, speaking of Marvel, if you haven't seen the Marvel Zombies series, I am blown away by the miniatures in this thing. They even put uh, texture on the bases for like the uh, heroes, like the, the, the enemies they're called, like the shield agents and the troopers and all that. I can't wait to show you guys a little bit more and paint, start painting those up because it's amazing. Some friggin' orange. I always call it friggin'. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, fugin. <laughs> Anyways, just to go over that Mars red, give it some detail. And now that soul blight gray. Oh, my favorite shade of all for white. It's not apothecary white. It's not holy white. It's soul blight gray. It just gives a nice little texture to white paints, gray, light, light, light gray paints. Uh, just getting that cloud to look a little bit more busy. Uh, just giving it a little bit more oomph to all his gloves and his stuff and all that just makes it look really great And I also put it on the base as well because the base is not the attraction right now I really wanted the focus to be on Nightcrawler himself and get him ready for the table and there you have it folks He's ready painted and barely no time at all. I mean the airbrush was a little bit longer Yes, but it was so much cooler to use. I want to thank you guys for watching hit that like button hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all in the next one